How's it going everyone? This is Brian Hoops here, Midwest Market Solutions, our latest internet video series. It's Monday evening, November the 9th, and thanks for joining us here everybody as uh, we look at our latest internet video series. Uh, got a lot of questions about the cattle and the hog markets and uh, what's going on with them, so we thought we'd uh, kind of give you a synopsis of what's uh, happening from a technical standpoint in both of these markets and uh, some big reasons why the markets are in a free fall right now. Uh, before we get into that, remember there is a risk of loss in trading futures and options and it can be substantial. Each investor and trader must be consider whether this is a suitable investment for them. Past performance is not indicative of future results. And everything that you hear tonight, see on our website, is copyright. Midwest Market Solutions 2015. All right, let's get into what's happening. We got a cattle chart up here, and this is a weekly chart. We want to look at kind of a broad picture of what's happening in the in the cattle market, and it's kind of hard to tell when we just leave it uh, looking like this, what would trigger this sell-off as we started this big descent last week, and then just this is just today's bar where we are down uh, limit in the cattle futures today. So uh, it's it's a little hard to tell what is actually happening just when you look at these charts, except that you can see we're in a, a downtrending market here. We've made a high at the end of uh, November 2014, had a pullback into February, and then a secondary rally into a high in, in June. And so by definition, um, with the low that we made in October, we have a, a downtrending market, lower lows, lower highs, and this high here that we made uh, early November, it looks like another high uh, corrective type rally in an otherwise downtrending type market. And uh, what we want to look at, what we want to put on this chart here, if easier to see, they're there, but they're kind of hidden. I'm going to make it easy to see. We're going to highlight outside bars here, outside weekly reversals in the blue bar. So I set that up. And what we want to look for is a reversal against the prevailing trend. Here we can see, if we go back to early part of 2013, a market that's trending lower. So we're looking for bullish type reversals to indicate a change in trend. Here we have an outside lower bar, meaning we made a new high and we made a new low compared to the previous weeks, but we closed lower. So we continued the downtrend. As uh, we started into June, we're already starting to see a market moving back into an uptrend. Here we have a couple reversals that uh, gives us a little bit more of a kick. And then this bar uh, on September 20th, and of course we don't know or we don't remember maybe what the fundamentals were back in that time frame, but whatever happened is this reversal here uh, this week, it kind of ignited the uptrend that move that we see. And uh, here we had a reversal, but didn't really have much follow through. A reversal back to the upside, bullish reversal here. And you can see as the markets moved up, here we had a bearish reversal move back down. Here we had another bullish reversal that took us higher. So a lot of times you can see in here, um, these reversal type bars, if we have a little follow through the next week, that's what ignites some of this rally. And if we go into here, into the 2015 marketing year, here we had a bearish reversal. We made a high, we looked at a market that had a little corrective rally, we had this reversal and we dropped from 158 all the way down to ultimately to 138, a $20 drop. And a lot of this was due to technical selling. Okay, so um, if you look at this market moving higher, here's another bearish reversal. Again, we're looking for reversals against the trend, so signaling that the trend would resume. The market did drop in here before coming back higher. And again, another reversal on uh, the week of June the 12th of 2015, signaling kind of an end to this uh, up up move market that we've seen almost all of 15 and prices working their way lower. Another reversal after a couple week rally worked the market lower. Now we dropped into this area in early October, saw a few week rally, and this is the reversal that we um, saw in here. This was just on October 30th week. It's a bearish reversal. We made new highs, we made new lows, we had a lower weekly close compared to the previous week's bar, and we've seen funds selling. Um, as a result. Now, if we want to take it one step further, I'm going to put some retracements on these charts. Now, here's what we can look at. We look at from this high to this low, we've made a 50% rec correction and then the reversal happened. I think you know, a lot of times we'll see these markets have these little reversals in here, little consolidations. 
they mean more when we've done some sort of a retracement against the prevailing trend, and that's what happened here. 50% retracement, and we reversed. Let's uh, go back uh, to this rally, and we'll put a retracement, support and resistance on this. And these are just Fibonacci numbers, so if we look at this one, um, we rallied here to a 62% and had a pullback, and here we had almost the 75% resistance uh, retracement level before a pullback. And again, if we can get into some resistance points, like you could draw a resistance line here, the market topped out. And again, if you drew resistance here, the market just barely missed from topping out on that. And that's what I think from a technical standpoint, in regards to the fundamentals, is getting the funds to sell into this market and drive prices lower in here. Of course, we know the fundamentals are bearish along with the technicals here. All right, let's look at the hogs. And we got the same type of thing. Look at this market here. A nice little uptrend going in 2013, a pullback into late December, early January. And again, here is the reversal to start this big bull move of 2014 is this weekly reversal. And again, here's a market that came to support. We can draw support across here and uh, fell to that support area. A weekly reversal off of support, pretty strong buy signal. If we look at the same uh, retracement levels, we pulled back into this 50% area. And Ian, nothing's exact in these markets. We know that, nothing's 100%. Pulled back into this 50% area into support, and we took off and rallied. Okay, so let's look at what's going on currently in this hog market. Here's a little reversal, but the prevailing trend gave us a, a small rally. And we can see for the month of Oct all 2014 into 2015, we've been nothing but lower. Now we're starting to trade higher, starting to trade higher. Here's a little reversal, a little bullish reversal that gave us some higher prices, but look what happened here on our latest rally attempt, October 23rd, the big reversal, and we've had some major funds selling. So we're down into support down in this area around the 5250, 53 area. That's where we made a low of today, 5310. My guess is the market consolidates. We've absorbed three, four weeks of this heavy fund type liquidation and selling. Market should find some support in here, but uh, no reason to think the, the market has turned or trended reversed until we see this type of reversal. So look for that as a signal that maybe this market's absorbed its selling. That's the, re you know, the market will give us that signal at times. Uh, maybe not right on the low, but keep an eye out for that. And um, that's what's going on here in the hogs and the cattle market. We hope you have a great uh, learning experience from this. We would invite you to contact any of our offices if you have any questions. Thanks for your participation and your feedback. Have a good night, everybody. This has been Brian, who's from Midwest Markets.